President Mohamedou Buhari flags off the construction of the Lekki Deep Sea Port in Lagos. Senate President urged Christians to emulate virtues of Jesus Christ. Kano Hizba arrests 98 beggars. Welcome to the Air News at this time on Television Nigerian. I am Cynthia Agbo. President Mohamedou Buhari on Thursday flagged off the construction of the Lekki Deep Sea Port in Lagos, pledging that the federal government would give the needed support to the project. Buhari, who was represented by his vice, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, said the project would become one of the largest seaports in the region and serve as a hub for port operations in the whole of West Africa. According to him, the project, once completed, is designed to influence the generation of up to 170,000 direct and indirect jobs in the economy. Lagos State Governor Akin Omiyambode said the project was a testimony of government's commitment to growing the economy and aligning the country with the industrialized countries in the world. Christians and Roman Catholics across the world will today mark the Good Friday in commemoration of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his death at Calvary. Observed during Holy Week as part of the Paschal Triduum on the Friday preceding Easter Sunday, the day is usually marked with fasting and church services. The president of the Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has urged Christians and Nigerians across the nation to emulate the virtues of Jesus Christ as epitomized by his passion, persecution, death, and resurrection during Easter. He said it was imperative for Nigerians to come together to build a country that both present and future generations would take pride in just like the work of Christ, which endured for over 2,000 years and has continued to inspire generations. The federal government, through the Ministry of Interior, has declared Friday and Monday as public holidays in commemoration of the Easter celebrations. We take a break now and when we return, Kanu Hizba arrests 98 beggars. Thanks for staying tuned. The Kano State Hizbar Board has arrested 98 beggars in Kano Metropolis for allegedly contravening the law on street begging. Malam Dahiru Nuhu, the officer in charge of the board's anti-begging unit, disclosed in Kano on Thursday, stating that most of the beggars were arrested at different parts of the city, including Bompai Lodge Road and Yankaba Motor Park. 68 of the arrested suspects were Almajaris aged between 9 and 17, and most of the arrested were from Bauchi, Kasina, Gombe, and Jube states. The Hizba official explained that those who were not from Kano would be repatriated to their states, while Kano indigents among them would be properly screened, cancelled, and thereafter released after admonishing them to find meaningful engagements to improve their lives. Violation of the law banning street begging in the state attracts a minimum of three months jail term. Now moving on to sports, former Super Eagles coach Samson Siasia believes Tuesday friendly match loss to Serbia and London will help the Super Eagles coach and players to work harder before the finals in Russia. Siasia, who was part of the Super Eagle squad to the 1994 FIFA World Cup in the United States of America, said the team should not be written off with the results, saying they can get better before the World Cup in Russia. The Super Eagles, who defeated Poland 1-0 in Ronkla last Friday, were beaten 2-0 in another international friendly match played in London on Tuesday. 
and for the first time since 1938 there will be no British referee at the World Cup this summer in Russia as none of the 36 officials for the tournament chosen by FIFA comes from England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland. There are also no British officials among the 63 assistant referees selected. While video assistant referees will be chosen from the pool of officials at the tournament. The World Cup did not take place for 12 years after 1938 because of World War II and since it resumed in 1950 there has been at least one English referee at each tournament. And on to the foreign scene. 60 United States diplomats has been expelled by Russia as the country closed its seats Petersburg U.S. Consulate in a retaliatory response to U.S. action over a spy poisoning case in the U.K. The move, which was announced by the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, comes amid a row over the NEV agent attack on a former Russian spy and his daughter in southern England. More than 20 countries have expelled Russian envoys in solidarity with the U.K., which has blamed Moscow for the attack which Russia has vehemently denied. Mr. Skripal remains in a critical but stable condition, while his daughter condition is said to be improving. To end the news, a recap of the major stories. President Mohamedou Buhari flags off the construction of the Lekki Deep Sea Port in Lagos. Senate President urged Christians to emulate virtues of Jesus Christ. Kano Hizba arrests 98 beggars. That's the news on television and Jaren. Before we go, I leave you with these thoughts. A calm and modest life brings more happiness than a constant pursuit of success combined with constant restlessness. I am Cynthia Agbo. Do have yourself a wonderful day.